We're here with Bobby Flowers, owner for Love for Art in downtown Duluth. Uh, first, Bobby, I want to congratulate you on your nomination. Thank you very much. Thank Fantastic. You. Thank you. Uh, I wanted to ask you, uh, what was the main reason you think you were nominated for the award today? Um, I think it's because um, in, the, in the short time that Love for Art has been open, um, we have had um, great support from the community, and we it's just it's been an honor to be recognized, but you can feel it, right? We have people who stop in on uh, a weekly basis just to say hi and uh, get some of the good vibes that Love for Art offers, and um, hopefully that's an, the reason behind it. Fantastic, so, fantastic. Mm -hmm. Where do you see the store headed? Well, what are your goals for the next year? Uh, some of the things that you want to do in the community. Um, oh gosh, um, for the next year. Um, I would love to see us expand into actually reaching out into um, other organizations such as um, you know Rainbow Village and things like that and working with other organizations. Um, I'd love to see us have more of an impact on our local artists and to see them come in more. And, um, you know, I think we're just now, people are just now starting to hear about us and I'm very excited to see the future to where people know about us. So that's what I'm looking forward to. Can you tell us how excited you are to have Barefoot in the Park in your backyard this year, uh, this coming May? <laughs> I'm very excited to have Barefoot in the Park. This is my absolute favorite uh, festival in all of Duluth. Um, and uh, yeah, man, to have them as part of us and us to be right there in the action, very excited. Well, fantastic. Congratulations on your nomination tonight. And we're excited about what you have coming up this year and what you're doing in the community. Thank you very much.